Let's build the legs. Open the scene editor and lock the object. Note that your character is standing at the zero on the Y axis. Change character view to wireframe. Create a new bone. Name it hip underscore L. Reposition the bone so it's closer to the pelvis. Create a keyframe to lock it in place. Open the properties panel and decrease the rest length. Go to the front view and reposition the bone so it's at the center of the leg. Create a keyframe to lock it in place. Create a child bone of hip underscore L. Rename it femur underscore L. We want the rotation points of the hip and femur to occupy the exact same position. Zero out the bone. Create a motion key to lock it. Rotate and increase the rest length so the tip of the bone reaches the knee area. Rotate it a little past 90 degrees. Later, when we set up the IK, this will give it a hint so it knows which way we want to bend. If this bone is straight up and down, it can cause an unwanted kickback while you're animating. Create a motion key to lock it. Create a new child bone. Rename it shin underscore L. Rotate and increase the rest length of the bone so it reaches the ankle area. Create a motion key to lock its position. Create a new child bone. Rename it leg underscore IK underscore L. Rotate it back so it's parallel to the floor. Open the properties panel and decrease the rest length. Create a motion key to lock its position. This bone is going to be the IK bridge between the foot and leg. And that's the leg. Ta-da!